Dude, this is gonna be epic. What's up guys, this is Keith Kelfis. I'm here at Detroit Sponge and Chamois in Wixom, Michigan. I gotta buy a couple tools for my window cleaning business. And I figured I gave Mike a call, the owner. I'm like, dude, we're coming by with some cameras and we're gonna do a virtual tour of the inside of Detroit Sponge. This place is amazing. I came here five years ago when I was starting my window cleaning business. I was, I was broke, I was scared, I was going up on ladders cleaning windows with my knees shaking and I wanted to get this thing called a water fed pole and that's the thing that changed my business. So Mike's inside, let's go in there, let's say what's up. You guys are gonna love this. Let's go see Mike. All right guys, we're here. So. They, they have every single tool you could possibly imagine to clean windows, anything you need. Whether you're just getting started or you've been in the business like 20 years, look at this. There's like scrubbers and steam and stuff. So. Oh, there he is. Hey, how you doing, What's up, Mike? Good to see you, man. Guys, this is Mike Warway, the owner of Detroit Sponge. He's gonna take us on a tour and how long have you been in business? Like, tell sure. us a little about, about this place. Sure, so the business was started actually by my uncle's father back in the 30s, and then it grew from there, and, and my uncle took over the business, ran it for many, many years, expanded some of the inventories, and then I came along, worked here when I was younger, went through high school working here, uh, went off to college, came back, bought the business in 1996, so I've been in charge since then, so. Wow, and you guys have everything you can need to clean windows, you ship That's, all over the country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's and our target market now as a professional window cleaning contractor. We love you guys and love what you do out there. Uh, so we have all the tools that you need for sure. There's all sorts of squeegees you can buy in all sorts of different places out in the marketplace, but we do cater to the professional grade brands like the Atori, the Unger, the Pulex, the Sorbo, uh, Mormon Tools, Gardner Poles, all sorts of fun water system items now that as, as the inventory grows. So the yeah. water fed pole and all that. Yeah. So you're gonna take us on a virtual tour and then you've mm -hmm. got some kits set out that you're gonna show us. Right. Let's get to it, let's go. So Keith, we're gonna walk around a little bit and I'll show you through the warehouse. We got our warehouse organized in aisles, kind of kind of some structure to all the inventory and all the tools and, and uh, items. So we can talk about some of the trends and the new items. But if you want to start out, we can head down the aisle and take a look. Sweet. So for instance, one of the brands that is a true professional grade brand would be the Sorbo Squeegee line. This is one of their limited edition squeegees that they came out of here lately with all that's going on, the patriotic kind of feel. So that's a Sorbo Squeegee, a little industrial. Um, definitely does a great job on the window for sure. They come in all the different sizes. And you got other tools that we sell like here behind you. You got a uh, a gutter scoop. This was designed by a window cleaner. I'm a big fan of tools that are designed by window cleaners because they really do make a, a proven fact that they work out there in the field. Just like Sorbo used to be a window cleaner back in his younger years, this was made by a gentleman that cleans windows, screws onto the pole, allows you to be able to get up there in the gutter to be able to scoop out the gutters. Wait a second. Sure. Because I know when you guys might have a question. How does it, I know that scoops it. Mm -hmm. So this is if you were actually doing it like that. That or this is a hanger too, so that you can actually hang this on the gutter so that you don't have to you don't have to bring it all the way down the ladder with you. You can leave it hanging up on the ladder and move the ladder over. But if you put the pole in here, how does it scoop if you're down here with the pole? Well, no, you gotta be up on a ladder. Oh, you'd have to be up like this. Yeah, you get up on a ladder and you actually be able to scoop. So if there's so a gutter nail here, this gutter. Will, yes, correct. Perfect. All right. I apologize to them. I told them I was sorry. One of the new trends of things that had come out was the Mormon accelerator squeegee handle. This is a uh, multiple angle handle so that you can adjust that angle. And the, the, one of the more exciting things is actually to be able to adjust it to a negative angle. So when you go to squeegee off your window, you can finish that window all the way clean off to the side, even if there's an obstruction or something there. So it allows you to be able to finish the way off. And one of the biggest things out of the uh, Mormon line has been their, Excel, their flick tool, where you can wash the window, flip this down, and be able to squeegee it without having to, uh, without having to separate your tools out. And then it also pivots side to side. So there's an extra taper to the end there. Does this lock? It does, it can lock also. So the lock is this little button on the back here. And you flip this up, it locks it into place. And then like I say, it also adjusts the angle. I need to try that one. 
These are fun. They're hard technique to catch on to, but boy, guys really find them to be efficient when they're out there on the job for sure. So the Mormon tools have come onto the market. Um, little accessory tools we got for you. Things like this was designed just for window cleaners, a track brush. So this is nice because it actually can fit in your pocket pretty easily. And it's got a good stiff bristle. Does a great job of getting into all the, the deep parts of the... <laughs> you like that one? That's good. I so wish I would have had this like five years ago. So simple. Yep, these are good. They're called the track, the track brush. Now, this is something that's new that came out from the, a line called the Maker. And this is a, a six inch tool that's got basically a grippy. So you can put a towel on there and it won't fall off. Put all sorts of things on there. Yeah, microfiber towels, but it's uh, nice and compact, six inch, so you can make sure you get into the spaces that you need to get to. Uh, we sell a lot of steel wool these days. Yes, yeah, there it is a warehouse, so there's stuff sticking out all over. So a lot of steel wool nowadays. If you stick with the, the ultra fine steel wool grade of like four zero, that's what we recommend. Yep, four zero is steel wool's graded out so that the less zeros, the more aggressive. So you want to be in the fours. Um, it works out a lot because people are trying to minimize the use of scrapers nowadays on glass, just to eliminate the concerns. It works great for taking off all sorts of debris and all sorts of things out there. Also have a full line of chemicals that you can get into having and using on the windows. Everything from hard water stain removers to um, everything. Hey guys, I know we're moving a little quick because Mike literally, he could go into immaculate detail about every single thing, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna... Well, I could talk about tools all day long. So uh, these are something that's new that's come along. These are shoe covers. So they're a reusable shoe cover. They got a tread on Let's the see. bottom and they actually have some colors too. So we got blue, red, black. Yeah, they're nice. Keep your customers, you know, because shoe covers are largely about your customers and what's going to make them comfortable when you're in their house or on their property. And that's why they're really nice to kind of have some uh, consciousness for your customer. All right, next aisle. So Keith, like I mentioned earlier, some of the brands, they're pretty uh, designed for the ruggedness of commercial use. One of them is Unger. This aisle pretty much has all the Unger items on it. One of the things that Unger has done this year, even in the simple uh, improvements, they changed the, what the material of this cone is made of on their poles. So it takes less of a twist to be able to lock this into place. So when you're out there on the job, it's pretty quick. And it really snugs in place nicely. And then if you flip it up and look at the grip, you know, the old, the old poles, it was always a complaint that when you would put the pole, you're out there working on a job and you lean up the pole and it starts to slide out on you. Yeah. You do that. Yep. And now they oh, put, wow. yeah, there's a real, they put a little rubber piece down at the bottom and the whole intention of that was, um, to be able to, uh, anybody here ever been in a customer's in a customer's house cleaning windows. Cause I would bring a, an extension with me cause a lot of detail work and you set it down and the thing slides out on their tile floor and it goes bam, 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 bam. And you're like. Oh yeah, we've had guys say that if you're at a car dealership and you set the pole down and it starts to slide, everybody's freaking out like, whoa. So that's really a nice innovation by that Unger did. Listening to window cleaners, they love the feedback. They heard from window cleaners and they heard that was something easy that they could innovate and change. So um, all of the poles for Unger too, they're completely serviceable. So all these parts, as you wear them out and break them, they can be uh, easily serviced and changed out. So that should last for you for years. Uh, one of the other things that Unger's come out with has been their Ninja line. So they have a Ninja scrubber. Oh, dope. And the handle is all contoured. Look at that thing, huh? Nice. Talk about car dealership windows or strip places. Yeah, 30 inches. Wow. Yeah. So they pivot, they all lock, so that you don't have to have the pivot if you like it to be stiff. They come in a, a variety of sizes, 14s, 10s, uh, 10s, 14s, 18s, and 22s, and then all the way up to the big one, a 30 inch. And they continue the theme of the Ninja with this type of a grip into even a scraper. So their scraper has a nice holster to it. And then it also has the uh, pivoting head to it. So that you can actually pivot the head to make it tip in a little bit more if you're doing a lot of pole scraping. And again, it has Those the same thing. Incredibly sharp. I got they it. are. Where is it? Right there, dude. Went to the hospital. 2013 I had it under my seat with no cover on it. I was trying to find my keys Yes, you got to make sure you cover them. I know it sounds like contractor thing to say I'm not gonna cover it But boy these covers they snap on they're nice when they're on 
you should make sure you leave them firmly in place for sure and these do have a locking feature also to where when you put this on the top of the younger pole this will snap in there to prevent it from popping off accidentally sweet so that's nice because we've always found that with these things when they do pop off a pole they always fall sharp edge down <laughs> it doesn't end well i've heard some bad stories over the years so you have that and then the big big highlight of the uh, ninja line would really be their squeegee and this is the squeegee that has the most contoured grip to it see this thing is sweet mm -hmm. i like that Got the plastic plugs at the end that kind of protect the edges of the windows when you wash. Uh, yeah. Easy to change the rubber. You slip the little clip over and allows the pressure to relief to be able to pull Look the squeegee rubber out. So that's been a popular one. Comes in all the sizes that you could want. And I like that, dude. That's sweet. It's pretty slick. It's got the, the texture that the window cleaners like so that you don't, when your hands are wet, it's yeah. easy to hold on to. Sweet, dude. And there are uh, a variety of other window cleaning squeegees from Unger as well. They have their, their regular Ergotech squeegees and um, you know, different varieties of squeegee handles. The thing with Unger being a pro line is they make like two versions of this handle. Well, the difference is this one's a little longer. So if you got bigger hands, this comes down in your hand a little bit further. Some guys prefer the handle to be up here higher in your hand when you hold it. Just depends, but it's a total comfort thing because again, you guys are out there working with this stuff all day long out in the field. So your performance and your comfort become very, very important. And if we move back, they uh, they sell a full line of, as we move on down, the, their window cleaning scrubbers. This is always the best seller for Unger, the Monsoon scrubber. I use these. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. Uh, great thickness holds a lot of water doesn't drip a lot that's one of the advantages when it holds a lot of water is you don't have to worry about dripping to the customer and then they have a whole variety of sleeves this is one of the time-honored ones of Unger I like that rough spot a little rough face on there so that dude I need to get this mm -hmm. oh. think of the area where they have mayflies or a lot of spiders this stuff will eat that up give you a lot of abrasion on the glass to really clean off the debris What's this thing on the forums about guys, especially newer guys, very concerned about scratching windows and tent, and sure. is this safe on everything? Uh, it's safe on most windows. The thing with tint is you always want to find out. You want to become very educated about the what's on the customer's glass. Because most tints should be safe, but that's a most. That's not all. So it depends on if they did it themselves, which side of the window did they put the tint on, how long has it been there. They really do want to be careful with this See, stuff. you can literally go down any avenue with him, and he's had a thousand conversations. <laughs> yeah, I've heard, and I usually hear the bad conversations. <laughs> Sometimes I hear the good ones, but, but a lot of times it's people that have had issues. <music> on around the corner here, the next aisle is one of our favorite over the years. Ettore Products Company, there's different uh, things out there about how you say it. I was raised to say Atori. If you listen to me talk long enough, I'll say Atori, Ettore. It's a great company. They're, they're family owned. Um, the lady that is the daughter of the gentleman that designed the original squeegee still works in customer service. She's still out there working and answers the phone. She's, it's an awesome company. They make very good quality product. Uh, a lot of their, most all their squeegees are made here in the USA. They're world famous for their squeegee rubber, just the perfection of the rubber. They actually still have a person on their staff that always touches each piece of rubber before they sell it to make sure it's free of any nicks or manufacturing imperfections. And uh, it's something that, you know, you want to be able to take that squeegee blindfolded and put it on a glass and have it provide streak free performance. Because the smallest, smallest thing. Yep. When you first get started, you you were like, how come it's not? There will keep being a line of water or something, and you don't know why. Yeah. Well, and this is the advantage of the professional uh, segments of their market. They sell tools into a lot of the different establishments, but the reality is the pro stuff, this is all squeegee rubber. It's what we stock a lot of. Behind you, we got it in bricks of even 144, gro uh, 144 rubbers. So window cleaners go through this a lot. It's very, very important for your job function because the price of a squeegee rubber isn't anything compared to your loss in productivity if you end up leaving streaks all over the glass or having to go back. So one of the snazzier ones to see is the Super Channel. Nice gold color. Their Super System squeegee handle. Again, this is an innovation by a window cleaner years ago. And uh, they offer that. This is called their Super Channel. It's a thicker channel than the brass, so it tends to hold up a little bit better. 
and they like the gold color. What's the the statistic again? The 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 material and tool cost cost overall it's like two or three mm-hmm. percent right what is that on a continual basis we've always used the number that uh, your your tool cost should be about two percent of your gross number so that literally means that with a couple thousand dollars worth of squeegees you could wash a hundred thousand dollars worth of glass when you first start up your business of course you have other startup costs and i don't want to make it sound like it's free but it is a very low overhead business and it is something that you really can uh make a, a, a good living at it, we're our big encouragement we're part of the international window cleaning association been uh, charter members with them and, and members for a couple decades it really helps to dress up the profession and treat yourself like you're a professional out there you are skilled and you don't let the marketplace tell you what you're doing you know what you're doing and in your profession you have that dignity of purpose and you're out there doing a professional service for people so using professional grade tools really does make sense and it makes a difference in the way you perform. Uh, NRA has a whole bunch of different scrubber sleeves too. This is one of the fun ones again. This is what's called a porcupine. I don't know if you can get in there and see that. See the little oh, quills yeah. that are in there. But that just eats up spiders and bees and uh, the, the deposits that are on the glass, even the bird droppings when you scrub the window it's it's safe for use on almost all windows you just got to watch the plexiglass because that's not so great um, but they have a whole variety of other sleeves and scrubbers they have uh, so many varieties they have a complete lineup of, the, of tools themselves all their different scrubbers have different handles some that you like more than others they again were one of the first originators of the super system design where it pivots so that allows you to be able to Instead of having a fixed washer and you're in one spot and doing all this, you can pivot this and be able to reach a little bit higher. And down Once lower. I learned about the uh, the swivel tools, I never used one that was just a straight mount ever again. Because mm-hmm. I, I was like, I don't understand. Why would somebody even use one that's not correct a swivel? Why? Most of the pros would say that, exactly. The only time you'd want to use one that's stationary is, is maybe if the movement would be a problem. So if you're leaning way out and you don't want it to give, that might be a possibility. But for most professionals... You really like the efficiency of the worker that you gain with this pivoting handle. I really quick want to ask. Oh yeah. Uh, this massive question mm-hmm. sure. about water spots and yeah. stains. Mm-hmm. Can you talk about that for a second? Sure. Sure. It's a hot. T- it's a big topic for window cleaners because you get out there and you clean the window, and most of the time it works out great. But then there's the area of windows where maybe the sprinkler's been hitting the glass, or there's been a rundown coming off the side of a building, leaving a deposit on the glass. Those are called hard water spots. They build up over time, almost in layers on the glass. And there's a few ways you can go at attacking them to try and get them to to be released from the glass. Chemicals like scrub off from Adore. Uh, there's one from Unger, there's, there's some of the other ones. This is really a, a paste type compound. Almost feels like an aggressive toothpaste. Uh, it's got a safety seal on it. But it uh, feels gritty in your fingers. And basically you're going to put that on the glass and almost polish out and power out that stain that's on the, on the glass. You'll feel it. Uh, work off, work off, and then it releases. Works on most stains and it's very safe to use. I don't do a lot of hard water stain removal anymore. I was getting into it, but I just don't do it. But I have a buddy who is doing shower doors and uh, cut customers in their bathrooms. That have very common hard water stains. He charge 40 bucks for a piece of glass and do it in like 10 minutes. And so offering this service, if you get into it, I mean, mm-hmm. average ticket price. Yep. I'm, I, I'm laughing because I have gotten educated on it and I use it to get out of doing stuff <laughs> in, in a very ethical way but you know what I'm saying yeah yeah because if you do it if you want to do it for the customer they you need to adapt and change the source of the problem too so it doesn't keep coming back <laughs> I follow you the whole line of dusters from Adore they even make a whole line of uh, floor squeegees one of their handier tools that's out there now is the backflip This has the squeegee and the scrubber combination tool. It allows you to be able to uh, rotate this tool and flip it backwards so that the squeegees and the scrubber face the other directions. It's got extra long handle to it, makes it easy to hold on to. You can use it on a pole and you can also use it this way where you scrub and wash at the same time. If it was a highly maintained job, this might work. But uh, normally they'll use it where it's back to back. That's one of those things where I was like, oh, that's so genius. You can just do it at the same time. Yeah. And then I don't know why I never, 
adept at doing that. Well, most of the pros don't. They use two separate tools. They like to use two separate tools. It does a better job. You know, allows you to control the water flow a little bit more, give you a little bit more accuracy. But if you're in a situation, say, with a high extension pole, and you want to reach real high, and by the time you bring, especially if you're in a hot part of the country, by the time you bring that scrubber down and put the squeegee back up there, the window's starting to dry, that's a great answer, because you scrub it, uh, flip it over, and squeegee it. Another line of poles from Metaray. There's our uh, nice rugged design. All the pole parts, again, are replaceable. The gold design is their professional line tool that they sell, and uh, they offer a full variety of different sizes. Um, and the tips all have locking features on them that will work with most of the Ettore line. And they come in a variety of sizes, so that's another option from them. Well, Pool X is another line that we sell. A lot of their squeegee rubber, a lot of their squeegees. Um, we also have some brushes that are always nice. Nowadays, guys are getting into doing all sorts of different surfaces and customers uh, for customers. They're, they're grades of these, so that's the super soft one. There you go. So soft. Yeah. And then this one here is just a little bit more aggressive. And then we have some that are even more aggressive. What would you use this on? Like you use a brush and scrubbing siding? Siding, to like sockets, apply soap. facets. Yep, you can use it. You can use it with degreaser. You can see how dense the bristles are. So if you yeah. put any soap on there, either dunking it in a bucket or putting concentrate on it, really holds it well. Ah. When you see these flared tips of the bristles, that, that's what helps to keep all the scrubbing happening at the tips of the bristles of the brush when you put it up there. I wish I had this when we were uh, uh, power washing. Oh, old school throwback real quick. This is a bore bristle brush. Um, still hand set with glue and a wood mahogany block. Back in the old days, this was all window cleaners used. We used to sell these by the 12 dozen at a time to the big companies in downtown. And the window cleaners would use this to wash the window with. They didn't have a strip washer. Strip washer was designed by Unger. And when they first came out, uh, we would deal with the window cleaners and they would, we actually had to, to tell the window cleaner, give me your brush, I'm gonna give you a scrubber. You use it for a week and see if it works for you. And then when a the guy came back, he said, man, my shoulder hurt a lot less at the end of the week because these things are heavy. But it's still handcrafted, super soft, bore bristles amazing, scrubs real well, but. We, that's what we use on the water fed pole. Like we only use bore bristle because there's something about the way it contacts the window and the way it cleans. Like I like it the best. So to, to jump a little bit out of order here, this is a, a tool that's real common now in the water fed world. This is a bronze wool pad. So earlier we talked about steel wool. There's also bronze wool pads. And the advantage to the bronze is that it is ultra fine. So it's not gonna scratch, but it doesn't rust as quickly. Steel wool, uh, the minute that you get it wet, it starts to degrade yeah, and rust, turn yeah. everything brown, right? Uh -huh. okay. So this is a bronze wool pad, which would, uh, can also work with a scrubber. Pad holder, there you go, rub that in. And it, this gives you a lot of abrasion. So we're talking about light, hard water stains, we're talking about all sorts of different deposits on the glass. This really does, uh, does a great job of giving you extra oomph, especially when you com combine it with the water fed pole. You know, when you're using a water-fed pole, you need something to, to get off some debris that's I'm up there. I'm getting all excited about cleaning windows just right now. <laughs> and then, you can see over here on the right, you see the. Uh, it's such a sad, isn't it? Such a satisfying thing. Like, it's I don't know. I love window cleaning. Yeah, it's, it's like ASMR, dude. All right. It's fun. It's neat that there are so many tools that design for the appropriate thing for you guys. I mean, we have tools on tools, but each one of them there's a story behind it and what it's intended for. Even down to a little baby scrubber, you get those small French panes, small daylight windows. Yeah. We, we literally just Side did lights. a job like two days ago and I didn't bring the smaller tools and I'm on the job and I had to do everything with microfibers by hand because I didn't bring this. Yep, and they come in all the different sizes. This is there's huge time savers for you. Then there also is something that we could talk about with the professional image that you put when you're out there in the field. Some people have colors that they run for their companies, uh, even crews. There's different color buckets available. Here's the one thing I never could wrap my head around. What are you supposed to put in this? Anything you want. <laughs> so are you supposed to put the soapy water in this? Normally, that would be the, the thing. There's a graduation on the side that shows you how much water you fill it up with, because I know that everybody likes to fill up the water and give a little squirt, and that's what they use. But as you go again with a professional of this, you really need to be mixing it consistently. So yes, you put in your work, your work water, 
and then you would dose in the amount of soap that you would use and you mix it up and then when you're able to dunk your scrubbers and use your scrubbers sideways instead of round buckets so we use these inside to put like tools if somebody doesn't like to wear a belt or we're doing track cleaning and would only put water in it if it was we we're doing outside exterior like st uh, storefronts and plazas and strip malls because as soon as you go to move it the water goes psh, 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 right. and splashes out so how do you prevent that well the big thing is you don't put much water in it so if you only put in two and a half gallons of water this is only about a third filled oh you can always tell the rookies because they'll have the water up to five six gallons and they'll be <laughs> carrying around the job <laughs> because and then every time you set it down it splashes and makes a mess so you don't need that much water in there <laughs> you don't need that much water in there and it helps we even have a nice snazzy looking uh, black bucket with a red handle now so there's all sorts of different things you can do you can be creative with the buckets if you want to put your logo on the side or whatever stickers but yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's that's some of the tips and me tricks. A rookie. Oh no, never. <laughs> now we get into one of the aisles that has more of the, the newer uh, phase of the window cleaning world, where everybody's going water fed. So we stock a lot of water fed poles, a lot of water fed uh, little accessories that go with it. Everything from basic varieties of brushes that have different bristles and different angles for for doing different types of work. We tried this brush. I, I didn't like it. I used it once and I never use it. What is the point of this brush? It's rounded. Well, it is rounded, so it's designed. Maybe to... I was using it for the wrong purpose. Could Tell be. me, Mike. Well, no. So it is rounded, whereas a typical brush is only going to have bristles like going this direction. This has going to the side. So if you're ever in an area where there's some hidden spots or some areas with crevices to it, that's when you would need this, especially when you even figure the stiffer brushes here. Ah, so it'd be like that specific property you use this right. brush on. Right. I mean, you can see we got a warehouse full of tools. So one of the things we say around here all the time is the right tool for the right job. These are all things and all problems that you can solve out on the job, but you don't need every one of them. That's why when you start out, it's great to kind of start within your budget and then build from there. Ah. Uh, so like okay. you say with hard water stains, you might never do the hard water stain thing, so it might not be a big thing. Makes sense? Yeah. Yeah? You don't sound convinced. No, I'm convinced. All right, I was good. thinking if you only if you only have a hammer, you think everything's a nail. I think that's me. Yeah. There you go. This is more of a traditional style brush that would be what you probably do like, except you like the bore bristles. Yeah. Um, but to give you an example, some of the things and the varieties that are out there now for people, uh, we talked about the advantage of swivel earlier. There are swiveling goosenecks. This attaches to the back of that brush and swivels. There are goosenecks that are longer. And then there are goosenecks that are a Whoa. lot longer. That's insane. <gasps> I need this. You know why? Because some of the houses well, here in Michigan, it'll be a two-story colonial, but the front porch has like a, the roof comes out like 12 feet. So instead of climbing up there, you can literally just reach all the way out and clean a window that's set back on a shelf. So this is a more reasonable size than that one. This is the bottom that goes in the end of the pole. And then this is where your brush attaches at the top. It's a fixed length carbon fiber so that you don't lose all that energy and, and have all that motion when you put it up there. But again, all of these things, there'd be no reason for you to buy all of this stuff if you never end up, end up encountering the challenge out on the job site. The standard gooseneck that comes with the pole looks like this. That's going to cover most of all your challenges. But there are a variety of things you can get into doing from there, for sure. Uh, hey, one thing real quick. See that? Anyway, I think when you buy a water-fed pole, buy more hose so you can wrap all the way around the house so you're not disconnecting and reconnecting mm -hmm. all sorts of pole parts and pieces all sorts of different varieties of hoses they have hoses that have a stiffer texture to them um, and there's so many different options for 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 pole parts and pieces for water fit poles it really is the growing trend in the window cleaning world and this is all talking about the poles and the brush systems this isn't the pure water systems that you use to create the water We'll talk about those in a minute. We got those stored in a different spot. Gloves on the other side of the aisle here, we haven't talked about, we've been ah. walking past. We got all the high rise stuff. So in case you ever wanted to, you know, this is the same, you're using the same pro grade tools that they're gonna use to clean the World Trade Center towers. I mean, all, all of these, uh, the, the, I should say the Freedom Center, 
They're all designed the same commercial grade and you'll see window cleaners out there using all of this gear to hang over the side of the window. We have all the bosun's chairs, all the rope equipment, the descenders. I have two of us on the staff that are really familiar with it and can walk you through all that stuff. It's a great field to get into and it's, uh, it's more glass to be cleaned and there's definitely glass everywhere. So you gotta figure out what type of customer you wanna service. Hanging off the side of a building cleaning windows. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we've all seen those videos, right? And then we got all sorts of gloves. Um, kind of wrapping up the tour here, this is where we tend to store a lot of our water-fed poles. These are all some of the... Wow, um, look at all the, these. Yeah, some of the stiffest, lightest weight poles that are out there. I think the one that you got your hand on there is part of a kit that is actually goes up 74 feet. 74 feet? 74 feet, sir. That's is it Gardner or Gardiner? It's Gardner. Gardner. You, yep. You ultimate high reach. How high? Seventy-four feet. Right. That particular port there is is forty-six feet, and then there are sections that you add to it that'll take it all the way up to seventy-four. And you put the same. Dude, we got to clean a, a like a how like, many story it'd building? Be like with a that? seven to eight story building with a GoPro camera on the top. That would be the, cool. That would be cool. It's 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 limited obviously on, on what it can be successful at, but when you start listening to the customers and, and listening to your customers, it can really fill a niche that's out there where they wanna see you as an alternative way to be able to clean the windows, and that's how that enters into the conversation. You get a lot of government buildings and a lot of schools, a lot of universities, hospitals, that are just looking at limiting the, their workers at height. So I only do residential window cleaning. My, my other water-fed pole goes up like 45 or 50 feet or something and it was just overkill and my shoulders are killing me and I wasn't even aware that you can just buy one that works best for what you do mm -hmm. and if you only do 18 feet so we I got the what do I get now the 25 foot yeah, 25 foot or but it's so lightweight I can use it with one hand right, and I'll put a link I'll put links in the description below to uh, the other tour we did other videos we did with Mike here about each individual tools if you want to get deeper click all the links below and you'll see more videos like that's a 25 footer yeah. so you, know, you can see how much more lightweight and manageable it is you can shed sections off of poles and mm -hmm. continue to use them smaller but it's it's nice to keep that in mind that if you're really using a shorter length why not have a shorter pole that goes along with that? I've always had a little bit of a towel interest, so we got a variety of towels for people to pick from. Uh, all, a lot of them microfiber nowadays, they absorb a lot of water, they got different textures to them. They can really help you to wipe off the job. Can I take one? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so I called up Mike last year. I said, I wanna try some different towels. And so I ordered all different types this is the best towel i know i'm getting excited about a towel if you use this towel i don't understand how but it literally just it's, it's literally the best towel i've ever used this is my favorite towel what is this called a waffle a waffle isn't that perfect that's what it feels like right a waffle cloth it's an amazing it's towel. a microfiber it's got some dimension to it <laughs> one of the other ones that's been good is this one here for if you ever clean detail out your um, customer sconces or light fixtures. This is like what you would use for cleaning eyeglasses, but it's large. And this has been very, very good for um, cleaning up all that detailed type of stuff, high end or more high end stuff. And we have the ropes uh, for when it goes along with the lines of all the high rise products. We've got everything that you need to go super high. And uh, sometimes they'll color coordinate for crews, job sites, um, anything like that. So there's, there's there's a lot of varieties and ways that you can be smart with doing high rise work and be very safe about it. Dope, dude. So everybody with this is this is. Oh yeah, we skipped right over that. This is part of the Unger indoor cleaning system where you use purified water with microfiber pads to actually clean the windows. Um, these things work fantastic. Have you had experience with them? Yes, yeah, skylights. Skylights. In somebody's house mm -hmm. over a white grand piano. Oh man, sounds like a perfect scenario. 
the uh, all sorts of concentrated chemicals that are used for soaps too and there's all sorts of things on the internet about what you can use for washing windows but I can tell you that there are some companies out there that put their whole reputation into designing soaps that are designed or detergents that are designed for cleaning windows with a squeegee one of the more popular ones is glass clean 4 super concentrated a little bit goes a long ways you mix it the right way it's going to give you more consistent slip and less less time wiping up and less streaks um, we have our own uh, label from this company called Dazzle 100. That's another real popular one that's even more concentrated. There's Mormon soap. There's all sorts of different detergents. The important part with that stuff is that you, I, the encouragement is that you try and use a professional grade concentrate. It's going to be different. Once you've cleaned windows for probably 10 years or more, it doesn't matter what you're using in your bucket. But when you're trying to train people or you're trying to give the best um, image to the customer, it helps to have this distinction that you're using a soap that's designed or a detergent that's designed for professional window cleaning. One of the products that we skipped over that I always like to talk about is this product. This is a Ledger. Uh, we sell a whole variety of these products. This was designed by a window cleaner. He still refers to this product as the wonderful Ledger. And Jerry Rigdon, class guy, a legend in the window cleaning world. He was doing a bank uh, customer in downtown, I think, Iowa. I don't know if it was downtown Des Moines or what city it was. He couldn't figure it out. So he designed a product, he made it himself so that he could use the, do windows that have a ledge from the ground without having to climb up all the way around the building all the time. So the ledger is turned into a whole line of these tools. This one is a pivoting one. There's ones that are longer, ones that are shorter, and these tools are another great time saver and problem solver for you. Buy one and use it on a job where you normally would struggle, and then you just get this thing, it just works, and you're like, oh. Yep. Designed by a window cleaner out in the field. But I put got links below to other in-depth product videos if you want to see those. But let's go look at the kits. Sounds good. Cool.